Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss open automation software as an MQTT client. OAS can act as both an MQTT client and an MQTT broker. There is another video available on our website where I discuss OAS as an MQTT broker. MQTT broker support was added to OAS in version 15.00.0001. In the knowledge base on our website, openautomationsoftware.com, there is a tutorial about using OAS as an MQTT client that discusses much of what I will cover. To view the tutorial, choose Knowledge Base, Data Sources, MQTT, Getting Started, MQTT. The MQTT protocol involves two players, a client and a broker. An MQTT broker is a server, while the clients are their connected devices. When a device wants to send data to a broker, it is called a publish. When the operation is reversed, it is called a subscribe. The OAS MQTT client does require a valid license. After installing open automation software, verify that you have a valid license for MQTT. To do this, open the configure OAS application and go to configure license. Select the instance of OAS you're using as an MQTT client. I'm going to start with my local host, so I will select it here in the network node dropdown. Then scroll down to the bottom of the page and verify that MQTT is listed in the available drivers list. Now let's review setting up a driver for an MQTT client. Select configure drivers from the top menu. Again, choose the local or remote instance of OAS that you want to create a driver for. In the driver interface name box, enter a meaningful driver interface name that you will use to refer to this physical connection when defining tags with an MQTT source. I am going to connect to the Eclipse.org MQTT broker, so I will call this My Eclipse. Select MQTT in the driver drop-down box. Enter the IP address for the broker. In this case, it is mqtt.eclipse.org. The default port is 1883. I will leave it there. Please note, you will need to have the port open on your firewall for the MQTT client to work. Enter a username and password if one is required. Click the Add Driver button. You should see it appear in the list on the left. So now that we have the driver set up, I'm going to show you how to publish to an MQTT broker with the OAS MQTT client. Let's open configure tags from the top menu. I'm going to use this A tag that I already have set up. It is a double float and its data source is an OPC simulated temperature device. We can see here the value is coming in and that it is good quality. The first thing I'm going to do is to set a watch window on it. I will right click on the tag in the Tag Explorer and say Add to Watch. The watch window appears now and we can see the A tag here. The window tells us its network node, the tag name, and we can see the value changing here. There is a knowledge base article and a video tutorial on our website about the watch window feature of OAS if you'd like to learn more about it. To publish using the OAS MQTT client, you must go to the Target tab for the tag and use the Data Route feature of OAS. Please note, to use this feature, a Data Route license is required. First, check Enable Write to Target. In the Target Type dropdown, select MQTT. In the Driver Interface box, I will choose the driver we just created. In the topic box, enter the topic you want to publish the tag as to the broker. I will call this OAS underscore A underscore tag. Next, choose the quality of service you desire. At most once, the client simply publishes the message and there is no acknowledgement by the broker. At least once, this method guarantees the message will be transferred successfully to the broker, but it may be received more than once exactly once. This is the highest quality of service and the slowest in which both sender and receiver are sure that the message was sent exactly once. I will select it most once. Check here if you want to include the timestamp and here if you want to include the quality in the message. Next, let's apply changes and we should be able to publish to the Eclipse broker. 
Now let's set up a tag to subscribe to the Eclipse Broker using the OAS MQTT client. I will create a new tag and call it B. I will set its data type to double float and its data source to MQTT. The driver interface will be the new driver we just created for the Eclipse Broker. For topic, I will enter OAS underscore A underscore tag, what the A tag is publishing as. When I click Apply Changes, we should see the value of the B tag begin to populate. It should match the A tag value with a slight delay. Bam, there it is. If you want to configure multiple tags to have an MQTT data source with the MQTT client or to publish to an MQTT broker via data route, you can do so with the CSV export and import feature of OAS. The buttons to do this are located at the top of the tag configuration screen. You would simply export your configuration to a CSV file, edit your file in Excel, and then import the new configuration back in. There is a tutorial on this functionality in the knowledge base under Data Sources, Tags, CSV Export and Import. You can also programmatically define tags using the free-to-use oasconfig.net standard assembly, opcsystems.net framework for assembly, or the REST API. There is information on these topics in the knowledge base under Programmatic Interface, .NET Server Configuration, and REST API. For more information on open automation software, please visit our website at www.openautomationsoftware.com.